Are you guys having a fun 4th of July? Yeah. Because there's no fun. things going on. We're going to try and get the windows in and we got to butcher okay. these chickens. Okay. Our meat birds. Yeah. So we got to butcher our meat birds. Uh, that should be not too time intensive. We got 20. Can't believe it. That's like an utter failure if you ask me. Bennett, what's in that box, bud? Chicken plucker. Chicken plucker. Here comes the chicken plucker. Got this thing on Amazon. We're going to post the link to it with the review, obviously. Um, so if you're interested in getting a chicken plucker, I'll let you know how this thing is. It's heavy though. It's like a good 60 pounds. I'm not sure it's going to work for the turkeys, but it'll definitely work good for the chickens. I hope it works for the turkeys. I think we're going to butcher them uh, in about eight weeks. So that will be interesting. But this looks pretty darn big. I think it's going to be able to fit. Depends how big they get. Okay, so first of all, it looks like it's super high quality. It looks really strong. It's super big. Bennett, you could definitely fit in there. We'll have to see if you can fit in there. No. We're not going to turn it on. No but you can just see it. No nope. Simple, you just have one leg and two wheels, and then this motor part attaches to the barrel. See the setup and easy to use. This is the setup. We got the cooler, we got our butchering table with the sink that looks good. We got our heater over there and our chicken blucker. It's gonna be good. yield based on how many chickens we've had. It's very disappointing. Good learning. I'm going to tell you what I think about it, but we have all the chickens in this ice water right here. Getting cooled off. Now I'm going to butcher them. I'm going to butcher a lot of chicken breasts, chicken legs, chicken wings, because that's how we eat chicken mostly. Stick them in these shrink wrap bags and seal them up. And so that's what we're going to do now. All right, so got all the animals butchered. It's nine o'clock now. Uh, gotta get the rest of the animals to bed. Here's my last Cornish cross bird. I don't even know if it's a Cornish cross because it's like it stopped growing. It's still alive. We're not gonna slaughter this guy. He's gonna go in with the other birds. We'll see what happens to him. I'm gonna show him to my kids real quick. His name is Chicken Nugget. All right, back at the hanging of sheetrock today. Uh, just a few more spots, guys. We are nearly done. Here's all we got left to do. That spot, that spot. There's a little tiny piece up here that I need to put. And then, that spot, and that spot. That's it. Seriously, that is it. I cannot believe it. Let's get this done, quickly. I just got up the last piece of drywall. And now I'm gonna cut off the extra. So you guys get to see it. Finally getting to be okay at drywall. Right in time to be finished. Almost as soon as I finished, I heard something that sounded like hammers hitting the top of the roof. You guys okay? Jeez, look at this thing. Today we just got all the drywall up yesterday. Fantastic. So excited. Got to clean up upstairs, sweep it out, put some paper down so that we don't get mud all over the OSB. But first, I gotta go on the roof right now because after that hailstorm we have some drips in here and I'm nervous. Hi Wynn. Nervous that we have a hole from the hail. It was that bad. So we'll see what's going on up there right now. Luckily, no damage to the roof, but the RV wasn't as lucky. 
So yesterday I ended up driving into town to get RV parts, replacement parts for all the vents and vent covers that got broke by the hail that came through for the RV. And today we're gonna go visit one of my wife's friends uh, and drop off some sourdough, get a bunch of eggs. They're actually fertilized, which is cool. So we might have a bunch more chicks uh, here, which is awesome. And then um, gonna go probably just do some fishing. So it's a fun little uh, river town that we like to go to. We stayed there when we were in our RV, uh, traveling and trying to find a place to live. And so it has a happy spot in our heart, uh, for sure. So, hailstorm really broke our, this is our, uh, AC hood for our RV. It goes up there on the top right there. So this is broken. Got a bunch of stuff to fix it and I'm hoping this one will do it. So this week was pretty good. I mean, we got all the drywall done, drywall hung. This next week coming up, I want to get all of the 90 minute uh, joint compound up and in, sanded ready for mudding and taping there upstairs. So I want to get done with the mudding and taping upstairs in the next two weeks. Uh, Work-wise, I'm super busy, which is awesome. I have a lot of good stuff going on with work, but uh, we just got to make sure to make time to do all this other stuff too. So I'm excited that we don't have meat birds anymore. It's helpful to not have to feed them so much. They were a lot of work actually. He had a good nap today. Does that look like lots of pockets? Let's cut out. 